How'd you like that hat? <laughs> I'm truly humbled by this recognition, especially with such a distinguished group of honorees. Judd Beckwith, Oscar Robinson, Dr. Two. Many of you in this audience have made it possible for me to be up here tonight. Thank you so very much. Almost 40 years ago, I attended this same chamber event where Erin Westheimer was being honored. I was so touched and moved by his accomplishments that I began to wonder if I could make a significant impact on our community. I came to Cincinnati in 1962 after graduating from the University of Dayton and joined the Cincinnati office of Arthur Anderson as a junior auditor. Arthur Anderson encouraged us to become involved in our community. My first community involvement was in 1962 with United Way. From then on, I was hooked. I need to recognize those who have made this possible for me. First, the alumni of the Cincinnati office of Arthur Anderson. Their accomplishments have always been a source of great satisfaction to me. They are my proudest contribution to our community. The many nonprofit community and business organizations that gave me the opportunity to serve our community. They taught me leadership by allowing me to lead. Third, my mentors and leaders of Arthur Anderson who selected me to lead the Cincinnati office. By the way, the best job I ever had and also the offices on the West Coast. They gave me the opportunity to experience business in all the corners of the world. And when I retired in 1994, I returned home to Cincinnati with a very broad business base. Fourth, the, the corporate leaders in our region who have allowed me to serve their organizations as a board member or their trusted business advisor. I believe that all these experiences were preparing me to answer a calling from God to assist people and families escape poverty through work. In 1966 or 1996, Leanne and I created Cincinnati Works. The success of Cincinnati Works has been made possible by, first, the generosity of this wonderful community by their financial support. Second, an outstanding board of directors currently led by Dave Hershey. Third, the service partnerships we have with many other Cincinnati organizations. Fourth, an exceptional group of coworkers led by our president, Peggy Zink. And last, but perhaps most important, our job seekers. We call them members. They have put their trust and that of their families in us and have overcome incredible barriers. They and their children have become able to share in the many opportunities this great city offers. And finally, I need to thank Leanne, my lifelong partner for all of her support and sacrifice. Our children, Scott, Todd and Brett and their wonderful wives, and our nine superb grandchildren who are all here, and some of them experiencing their first tie. <laughs> the neat thing about these young people is they are willing to tolerate new experiences with their grandpa. Thank you for a night that I will always remember.